Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thank you for watching us tonight. David Letterman, John Edwards, and homeless vets. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Continuing his road show of deception, John Edwards took his desperate campaign to the David Letterman program last night. We'll play you a clip of that in a moment, but first some background. A few months ago, Mr. Edwards began using homeless veterans in his economic Two Americas propaganda pitch. According to Edwards, the U.S. economy is forcing veterans to live under bridges. You see a very few Americans getting wealthier and wealthier. You see the biggest corporations in America's profits through the roof. ExxonMobil just made $40 billion, record profits. Tonight, 200,000 men and women who wore the uniform of the United States of America and served this country honorably will go to sleep under bridges and on grates. Now, that, of course, is nonsense. There's no linkage between the economy and the veterans. According to Joseph Califano, perhaps America's best expert on substance abuse, up to 90% of homeless vets are addicted or mentally ill. The economy, again, has nothing to do with it. This year, the government will spend about $37 billion on health care for vets, a record amount. The VA's homeless programs constitute the largest homeless relief effort in the country. Every night, as many as 150,000 beds are available. John Edwards should know that, but I believe he doesn't really care. Here's what he said on Letterman last night. Tell me a little bit about your um, about your feud with Bill O'Reilly. Now, this is a tough guy. He's been on the show a couple of times, and uh, he's a tough guy. Tell me, what's going on there? What's at the core of the feud? Well, the core of the feud is I've been talking about homeless veterans and the fact that we have a couple hundred thousand homeless veterans who have no place to, to, to sleep at night. That's it's embarrassing, shelter. isn't it? It's, it's, incredibly, horrible embarrassing. it's incredibly embarrassing for America. Huge moral issue mm -hmm. facing the country. And he kind of went on his show and said that uh, I was exaggerating, making it up, and uh, uh, I I think he got a lot of correspondence and a lot of homeless veterans have been calling in. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what I've noticed about uh, Bill O'Reilly, and, and he's a, a marvelous communicator, but he, he's, he, not, he doesn't really care much about uh, telling the truth. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed the same thing. As Laura Ingram might say, tedious. Edwards and Letterman could not care less about the truth unless it fits into their far left vision of the world. Using homeless veterans to make a dishonest political point is wrong. That's one of the reasons Edwards is going nowhere in his campaign. The man simply cannot be trusted. If Edwards is at all concerned about the veterans or the truth, all he has to do is call the VA. Here's what homeless vet boss Peter Doherty said today on the radio factor. In, in most places, if you're a homeless veteran and you're in contact with us, uh, we will help you find a place to stay, both an emergency sort of to get you off the street if you need to be off the street, but more importantly for us, into a program that is designed to address the underlying health needs that you have to get you out of homelessness. Now, Talking Moist believes troubled vets should get all the help we can provide, but using these people for political gain is unacceptable. The spin stops here. Edwards and Letterman don't know what they're talking about, and Edwards should have no place in an honest election. And that's the memo. Now for the top story tonight, reaction to what you just heard. Joining us from Washington, Carrie Lucas, Vice President of the Independent Women's Forum, a conservative group. And from Boston, Fox News military analyst Colonel David Hunt, who has worked for years with homeless veterans. So your reaction tonight, Colonel? Uh, first of all, the, the vast majority of veterans serve honorably and have productive lives. But the homeless veteran issue is part of a larger problem with the homeless in America. I'm glad it's being talked about. There's not enough being done. If there's one veteran, one guy or woman ser who served is under a bridge, that's wrong. And the Veterans Administration, and, and we're not doing enough for them. Nobody is. But the, the homeless is a very serious problem. And the homeless veterans, it just makes it more criminal. All right, but look, that's in theory fine. But you know there's a difference between theory and reality. We put out a call for any homeless veteran living under a bridge to get in contact with us or to have a, an agency get in contact with us. One did, and that was brought to us by the left wing uh, radio commentator Ed Schultz. All right, one. And we've been doing this for a month. One. We talked to him today, and economics had nothing to do with the situation. Either did substance. This guy had a tremendous personal tragedy in Colorado, and we sympathize with him. We'll get him all the help he needs. But to use this, Colonel, to use this as an economic issue that there are Hoovervilles all over the country um, full of, of veterans who can't get a job and make a living, this, damn it, is wrong, Colonel. It's got to be yeah, condemned. It's not what the issue's all about. 
It's not, I didn't say it was. I'm talking, the, the, first of all, we, we, you've already said, 90% of these, you know, these men and women have serious mental issues or substance abuse problems. Do you believe that so, based on your experience? There's no question. Absolutely, absolutely okay. 100%. There's no, but, but the economics is not this. It's, it's, it's that we're not getting them the help in any economy. And let's go back to Valley Forge. You've got homeless veterans, homeless people. The tragedy for me is to see a veteran who gave everything for his country, and when he comes back, he's sick. And he's not going to call right, the Veterans Administration either, for help. If you he have 150,000 beds, which they have a night, that's enough to take care of the homeless veteran population. If you have $37 billion for homeless veteran problems, I don't know whether that's enough or not. If it isn't, we need more. But That's not, Bill, that's not right. The $37 billion is not for homeless veterans. It's for veterans affairs for medical. That's not dedicated to homeless veterans. No, 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 that's right. It, it's, it's across the board, but it's still an enormous amount of money. If it's, it's not enough, we should have more. But we can do 150, that. 150,000, I don't... I don't know where the 150,000 beds are. I've never seen a homeless veteran shelter run by the VA. I have seen and worked in and do now okay. in homeless private According shelters. According to the information that we enough. have, the government's information is that they have 150,000 beds every night. All right, how do you see that? I'm sure they do. I don't know oh, where they are. I, I think if, if I can jump in, I really think what the larger issue here is what, what is the proper role of government? We Everyone can agree that it's an absolute tragedy for any person who has served America, uh, America in, in his, by serving in a military role should not end up being homeless. But the question the question is, is who is best able to deal with the problem of homelessness in America? And I think we should really pause before thinking that the federal government is best suited to, to, to address this problem. When you think about some of the substance abuse and these, these issues that accompany homelessness, it's really more, it's a local issue. The localities are going to be best suited to decide and to figure out the what it is the that local those economies won't do anything. Need. Yeah, the, but I, I agree with the Colonel. I, I don't, we're, talking, we're talking also I, about look, private I think it's a, no, I think it's a state Whoa, 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 all right, whoa, that's not what we're here to talk about tonight, okay, local I don't believe can handle it, it's a national issue, these people signed up for the national to serve our country, they should handle it, it's not what we're talking about, we're talking about a cynical politician, and you're both dodging this question, you don't want to bash Edwards, don't bash him, you're talking about a cynical politician and a dishonest talk show host teaming up, I'm telling the truth here, Colonel, you know me, and I am telling the truth. I'm not I am suggesting telling you're not. absolutely I, I, the truth. This guy's exploiting homeless not. veterans. That's what he's doing. I'm teed off about it. You don't look too teed off, Colonel. And I, you know, I'm teed I'm off. Surprised. I'm teed off. There are homeless veterans, my friend, uh, and that's a tragedy. I don't like anybody using it. Anybody. All right, let's let's go, man. Let's go. Wait, wait really... a minute, Miss Lucas. I have to go man sure. to man with the Colonel here. It's my my <laughs> pal. You're going to force these people into rehab, Colonel. You're going to take them by the scruff of their neck. You're going to drag them into rehab. I'm going to give them. I'm going to give them a hell of a lot go. more than they're getting now. Okay. They're getting a hell of a lot more. They don't want to If they don't want to be rehabbed, they get Many of them don't. Then what are you going to do? Disabled. Mentally disabled well, right. and they have Granted, substance abuse. They got and problems we owe them all over every the place. chance, and we're not doing it. It's not a matter of owing anybody anything. There's just billions well, of dollars. It is a matter of owing no, them anything. We owe them everything. And we're not giving it, it to them. Here's what it's a matter of. You, Colonel, are going to have to drag those people, drag them. I'm going to do against their will, right now, against their will, entities. into a rehab facility. No, are you willing to no, do that? No, I'm going to go on. No, not at all. Not going to do that. There are definite ways, and there have been success. Right now, they're private. But you can't abandon, nobody wants to count these issues. But there are absolute ways, right now, they're all private and disorganized. This government asked these guys to serve, and they did. The government owes them right. much more than they're doing. But it shouldn't be politicized you and I are working by Edwards together. or you, it shouldn't right. be You and I are working together, and we're going to break the story in a couple of weeks. On a very big package for veterans. I can't say any more than that, but the Colonel and I are working. You bet. On. Okay. You but bet. Colonel, you got to tell the truth about this. This problem is... A very acute problem. It's not economic. But it's, I agree. It's right. not economic. It's an individual problem, Colonel. It's an individual addiction or mental illness. And in order to solve that problem, if the person doesn't want to be cured, you have to force him. And nobody's willing to do that in this country. I think we ought to try. We got to do something for him. We got to do something. Ms. Lucas, I'm sorry I couldn't give you much more air time, but the Colonel and I had to <laughs> slug right. that one out. And, and the dishonesty of all this is staggering, and that really bothers me. And that's what I'm going to say. I about agree that. with you on that part. We agree on that part.